Hey guys, so I survived my first day of clinical, which was pretty nerve-wracking, honestly. Um, yeah, we were paired up um, randomly just because she wanted us to be able to work with anyone. <clears throat> so it was pretty cool. I mean, I got to know one of my other classmates who I don't really talk to, so it was a good experience there. Um, I actually had a mortifying experience today because I I went in to take vital signs on my patient. And so I got my thermometer. And I don't know if all hospitals are the same. You going into this you guys have to remember that I am I had zero medical experience at all. I've never been in the hospital. Um I've maybe been once or twice to see family in the hospital and that was like years ago so I really don't have any experience so went in grabbed the thermometer it was the ear thermometer and um, like we used them somewhat in lab like for vital signs we went through almost everything really in depth except for taking temperature and for that, all we really talked about was like how you, which way you pull the ear back for adult versus child, and you know, that was it. I mean, we we played around with it some, and it was you know, having it in your hand, you know, when you're not under pressure, it's pretty easy. You know, you put the cover on, you take the temperature, pushing this button, and then when you're done, you push this button, and it will discard the cover. Well. I went in there and I'm like trying my best to hide my nervous shaking and I I got the cover on the thermometer and I I went to take her temperature and it's not like it's not doing anything and I look at it is telling me to discard the cover which was kind of strange I don't know what happened but I so I went over I discarded that cover I got a new one and I went to take her temperature again, and I pressed the button to discard the cover. So it shot into her ear. Yay. So I <laughs> very quickly pulled that one out. She didn't say anything. My goodness, we had such a good <laughs> patient to deal with. She was totally okay with everything. I mean, she understood that we were nursing students. Uh, <clears throat> um, so I just got a new cover and I took her temperature correctly this time, um, but it was <laughs> it was not a good situation to start out the day, and that literally was first thing in the morning. So, yeah. But I mean, the rest of the day it it was a really easy day. We got one other patient because our patient was so easy. I mean, she was you know mobile. We didn't really have to do much. So our, we ended up going into another patient to give a bed bath for the first time, just so we can have the experience. And yeah, I don't know. The hardest, I think the hardest thing to get used to, or that will be to get used to, um, I don't know, is just, is just dealing with all of that stuff. I mean, this, <laughs> gosh. You know, all the all the stuff that, you know, ends up going wrong with someone and, you know, just all that embarrassing stuff that I just imagine myself in some of their shoes. I mean, you know, blind, deaf, if you, you know, if you lose control of your bowels or your urine, um, I just, I couldn't even imagine myself in that position. And, I mean, they feel bad, and you feel bad for them, and it's just, I don't know. I don't know. In a way, it, it makes me happy, too, to know that, you know, I'm going to be caring for them and actually taking care of them. Um, instead of just standing by. So, but next week we will have a patient on our own. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but um, I didn't kill anyone. 
I didn't hurt anyone either. The ear and the thermometer didn't hurt her, so she said. So that's a good sign, I guess. Um, yeah, and I'm sure next week my patient will be, you know, incredibly tough and need all of my attention. Which is okay, because I think we got off easy this week. Um, especially some of the stuff that people dealt with last week, so... Yeah. So, hopefully everything will go well in the next coming weeks. Um, and any of you guys, too, if anyone else is starting clinicals, you know, <laughs> good luck. Dive in, and the best thing you can do is just fake it till you make it, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to follow my journey, um, there's a subscribe button down there, um, hit like if you like this video, leave a comment if you guys have anything you want me to go over, if you have any questions for me, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks!